Sailors and officers affectionately refer to the vessel as the FID, short for First in Defense, and also a reference to James Forrestal. This nickname was integrated as a slogan on the vessel's insignia and patch. After some notable fires aboard the ship, the USS Forrestal also gained the monikers Forest Fire, Fire Stall, and USS Zippo. The worst of these fires took place in 1967. The supercarrier served in the Atlantic Ocean, the Mediterranean Sea, and the Pacific Ocean for almost four decades. In the end, it was decommissioned and turned into a museum. After several attempts to save the ship were unsuccessful, it was ultimately towed to Brownsville, Texas for scrap in February of 2014. By December of the following year, the ship had been entirely scrapped. The Plan The C-2 Greyhound is presently still one of the largest transport aircraft designed for carrier operations. Before the plane entered its service, however, the military was curious to see whether the C-130 Hercules could be used for logistic support by taking off and landing on a carrier. Tests using the Hercules and supercarrier USS Forrestal were scheduled for October of 1963. The theory behind the novel test was named Carrier Onboard Delivery, or COD, sometimes Supercarrier Onboard Delivery. The concept was created following the realization that aircraft carriers should be resupplied with urgently needed fuel and tools without having to return to port. Commencing in the early 1960s, the Grumman C-1 trader was actually in charge of resupplying the carriers. However, the twin piston engine had two flaws that limited the operations. The 300-mile range and the 8,500-pound or 3,856-kilogram payload capacity.